So in today's video, I will be sharing with you two of my newest sewing makes. So my first sewing make is McCall's 7831, and it is this jumper, which I absolutely ended up really loving. I made view A without the pocket, so it's pretty simple. It's not much to it at all. And I actually made this out of a white denim that I found at the thrift store one day. And I just had to have it because normally if you see, well for me, when I'm out thrifting, if I do find any denim, it's blue. Um, but to find some white, I thought was kind of rare, so I had to grab it. And I had no idea what I was going to make with it, but then I decided to just give this little jumper or pinafore a try. And the only thing that I had trouble with is turning the straps because it's denim. The fabric was pretty thick and I had a hard time getting it to turn over for me, but I struggled and I got it finally. So yes, this is the jumper dress. Okay, the second sewing make is Butterick 6718. This is a man's pullover. So this is not for me, but I wanted to show it to you because there were just a couple things that I did differently that I thought, you know, might help someone. So I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, one was that for the holes for the cording to go through, the pattern called for eyelets. And I couldn't find a size that I liked. They were either too busy, too busy, too big or too small. So I just decided to just put a little snip in the fabric and just put the cording through and that worked just fine so that was one alteration the other thing is for the cording as you can see the cording uh, frays so whenever i got ready to put the cording through i cut it and it began to fray so what i did was i grabbed a piece of tape and i wrapped it around the frayed edge and then i've stuck a um, needle not a needle safety pin through the tape and then I was able to just thread the cording through and that worked just fine and then the other change is that for this pattern it called for ribbing around the sleeves and also ribbing around the, the lower band so I just decided to just use the pattern the same fabric for the um, the bottom and for the sleeves that I used you know for the whole garment and it worked out just fine but the only thing that I did differently is when I was putting the bands on I didn't sew it at the 5 8 inch um, seam allowance I did it much smaller maybe a, a quarter of an inch of a seam allowance so I did that to kind of help and make sure that it was going to stretch around and for this burda pattern I did have to add my own seam allowance and I just added the seam allowance before I sewed the garment up so I did take pictures in this, even though, like I said, it's not for me. I did take pictures in this just for fun. I threw it on on top of the jumper so that you can see what it looks like. So yeah, I will go ahead and show you what these garments look like on. So those are the two uh, things that I have made recently. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So my love share for today is the Just Born Candy Company. They actually make sugar-free peeps. So I thought that was so interesting. And in fact, from my understanding, the sugar-free peeps are hard to find, but they are sold on Amazon. So I will leave a link in case you know you want to try them out or you know somebody that might be interested. All right, so that is all that I have for you today. And thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next video.